Hello guys, recently on Laravel Daily Com, my colleague Modestas has published 7 ways how PHP Storm helps to refactor code. This premium article available for premium members, but here on YouTube I decided to take a few of those ways and show you with my own version. So I will show you 3 ways, 3 PHP Storm tricks or features if you call them, how to change something in the code and PHP Storm will help us to do that more quickly or more automatically intelligently. And I think I will do that more often, so take some premium tutorial or course on Laravel Daily Com and shoot the minimum version in like 5 minutes or so on YouTube. So here's the first thing that PHP Storm can help us with renaming variables. And in general, the word refactoring is such a sophisticated kind of scientific word. What it means actually is changing the code structure in a few places usually. Regrouping, renaming, moving things around. And what is the problem with such refactoring is usually you need to take a few places and change them. So PHP Storm can help us with that. For example, you have a variable Q or you notice this variable in someone else's code and you need to rename it to a proper variable because Q is nothing meaningful. It doesn't mean anything. Variables should be something like query. So if you want to rename that, you right click, refactor, rename, and then PHP Storm would suggest a few renaming, but you can write whatever, type in, for example, query, and see what PHP Storm has done. It renamed more appearances of the same variable in the same method. So you hit enter, and it is renamed in multiple places. So refactor, rename in one place, you may use suggestions by PHP Storm or not, and the variable is renamed in a few places. So that's the first PHP Storm refactoring trick. Second example is what if you want to rename a class, which may be used in a few more classes. For example, service class user service could be used in a controller or in a few controllers or in some kind of job or unit test, wherever, right? So you rename it once and it could be automatically renamed everywhere, right? That's where PHP Storm shines. So you right click in the file tree service, so the file name, then refactor, rename, and for example, you want to call it users service. Just a simplified example, the name could be whatever. And then you have three choices, search for references, search in comments and strings, and then rename the class itself. Rename the class itself is kind of automatically given, and then you click refactor, you confirm that you want to do that, and the file itself is renamed and also in the controller, as you can see, it is renamed as well and here on top too. So this is probably my number one used feature of PHP Storm, renaming something and then it is renamed elsewhere in the project. And also, what if you want to move something somewhere to another folder? PHP Storm will help you to handle namespaces. So for example, user service is in app services. What if you want to move that to a separate folder? So for example, you would create a new directory of, for example, admin services, and then you want to move that user service into admin. You just drag and drop, and then what happens? User service is not renamed the class itself, but the namespace is changed. And in the controller of user controller, see it is also replaced the namespace use the user service from a new folder, new location. So these are just three examples how PHP Storm can help us. This is, I will scroll down the article itself. I will link that in the description below if you want more. If you want all seven examples, like the next one is extracting methods. This is again part of our premium tutorials on LaravelDaily.com, so I recommend you to subscribe to that. And if you are interested in PHP Storm in general and want to make a deeper dive, I do recommend a course by Christoph Rumpel, Mastering PHP Storm where Christoph totally shines, giving you a lot of features. Let me scroll down. There's some kind of table of contents here somewhere. Yeah, this one. So refactoring as well, testing tips, tricks, git and debugging. So you can get all of that at masteringphpstorm.com. I'm not affiliated here. I don't get paid for that commercial. I do genuinely recommend Christoph's work here. What is your favorite feature of PHP Storm? Refactoring or not? Share your tricks in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.